Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna do something really fast and easy and fun. We're gonna use peat pots and we're gonna decorate them up so you can fill them full of your favorite goodies. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start with this little square peat pot and then I am gonna paint this. And I wanted a little thicker coat, not just a wash on there, so I'm using my crinoline paint. Then I'm gonna add a few drops of my DIY paint frosting and it's gonna make it just a little bit thicker. And you're gonna wanna let it set at least a half hour, an hour. The more you put in, the thicker it gets quicker. And you just mix it up, let it set, and it will get nice and thick. So when your paint's thickened, I am just gonna put it on this pot because I really want a, a little thicker coverage on this. So I've made this paint thinner than a chalk paste because I don't want that many bumps on here, but I wanted it thicker than just plain paint so it covered a little better and you're getting more of this white look on it. And I'm just going to coat the inside a bit. I'm just kind of hitting it back and forth and I'm not completely covering it. I just don't want it to see a brown pot on the inside because sometimes you can see the inside also. And we're just gonna let this dry and it might feel a little soft, but when it dries, it will get nice and hard again. So this is our new ephemeral melange and it is just beautiful. It just has lots of small elements and a few bigger pages that I love because then I can cut these out and use it for so many different projects. Here's my pot when it's dried. I made a template of what the front or one of the sides would be about how big it is. So I wanna put a transfer on this because it's so soft though, I can't just apply it right to the front of it. It's more like carton material, like egg carton material. So if you press hard on it, you're probably gonna break through it. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use some old book paper and I cut it to the same size as the template. My new IOD transfers and use one of these images, transfer it onto the front of this paper and then I can decoupage the paper onto the front of the carton without hurting my carton. So I don't need to cut this exact, I just don't want to use all of it. I can use this little scrap for something else. One thing nice about transfers, they adhere to paper very, very easily. So now I can just decoupage this on to the front of here. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna use my vintage photo distressing and I am just gonna go around the edges of this pot. And then I'm also gonna use my uh, vintage textures and this is one of the four stamps that's in there. And I'm just gonna put it on a few of the sides and I'm using a uh, black ink. Find my flattest side and I'm gonna mod podge this down. And you can use any type of a glue or your favorite medium for decoupaging paper on. I'm gonna glue this pretty pink sorry silk around the edge. And I'm just going to glue this and you can use a Mod Podge or glue whatever you would like. And I'm gonna glue the sorry silk around the top of this peat pot. And I want a little bit of this chippy paint over the top of my transfer. So now that I've got it on there, I'm going to just add a little around over the transfer and even over this ribbon. I'm even going to add a little more distressing ink to my ribbon and I am going to seal this with my Minwax Polyacrylic. It's just a crystal clear and you could use any type of a sealer you would like. I just want all of this sealed and this will also move around my distressing ink. And if you would like, you could do the inside. And I'm just gonna just quickly swipe this over the inside edges. And we'll let this dry. So if you wanted to add a handle to this, whether it's with paper wire or sorry silk or any other thing you might have, you could just poke two little holes through here and attach it through since these sides are soft. So I hope you guys thought this was fast and easy. 
So we use the frosting just to recap to make our paint a little bit thicker and it goes through this a little better and covers very, very nicely. And how we put the transfer on here using the paper and then decoupaging that onto here because of the surface of this. Now, even when you're doing these, you could add fun handles, fill it full of goodies, Easter baskets, Mother's Day, whatever you can think of. Hope you give this a try, but whatever you do, have fun.